Active Kill Disk provides users with a way to securely delete data from a hard drive, a solid state drive, or a USB connected device. When you begin Active Kill Disk, you should see a list of hard drives and devices along the left side of your screen. If you do not see a device that you should, you should click the Refresh button at the top. For demonstration purposes, we will also use the Preview window. To turn on the Preview window, click Preview across the top. With the Preview window open, we can now see information about our selected drives and devices. To delete all information from a device, first select the device, and across the top, click Kill. We have several options in this new window. The top window will first tell us what device we are about to erase. In Erase Method, we get a wide variety of methods, including the U.S. Department of Defense 3 Pass Verification and the U.S. Department of Defense 7 Pass Verification. For our purposes, we shall use the U.S. Department of Defense 3 Pass Verification. When we use this method, we can see that verification is not an option as the checkbox is checked for us. Under Options, we can initialize the disk or drive after it's been erased. We can write the fingerprint to the first sector. We can skip the disk erase confirmation. And we can save a log and shut down the PC once we're finished. And of course, we can add additional comments, which will be added to our certificate upon completion. If we are happy with these settings, we click Start. As this task cannot be undone, there is one final step to ensure we really do wish to erase the data. You must type Erase All Data into the box and click OK. The amount of time it takes to complete this process will vary according to the size of the drive, the amount of data to be erased, and the speed of your system. Upon completion, we will receive a certificate that tells us a couple of things. It will tell us the device we erased, the date and timestamp for when this process began, the size of the device, the erase method used. In our situation, in the first pass, the data was written over with all zeros. In the second pass, the data was written over with all Fs. And in the third pass, random characters were written over the data. We know the verification passed OK and the date and time stamp for when the process was completed. We are shown the total erased time and the status of the process. Back in our Kill Disk dashboard, if we refresh and reselect the same device, we can see the changes in the sector preview. Aside from erasing an entire hard drive or device, Active Kill Disk can also wipe unused data leaving used data alone. To complete this wiping process, we first select the device to be wiped, and across the top we select Wipe. We now have a window that tells us what we are about to wipe. We have our methods which are the same as Erase, which means we can also use the Department of Defense 3 Pass Verification which means verification is required and we cannot affect that checkbox. We decide what to do with unused clusters. We can wipe them, we can wipe the metadata and system files area, and we can wipe slack space within the file clusters. We can select to save the log and shut down the PC upon completion, and we can add comments for our certificate. Once the settings are how we wish, we click Start. And since we are not erasing used data, we don't need to go through the Erase All Data process. However, we do need to verify that we wish to wipe the drive by clicking Yes. The amount of time it takes to wipe unused data is determined by the amount of data to be wiped and the speed of your system. Upon completion, we have our certificate that tells us the selection we wiped, where it was located, a date time stamp for when it was started, the device size, the wipe method used, what we did with our unused clusters, and since this was Department of Defense 3 pass verification, we see that the first pass overwrote the unused data with zeros, the second pass overwrote the unused data with Fs, 
and the third pass overwrote the unused data with random characters. It passed our verification, and finally a timestamp for when we finished. We see the total wiping time and our status. And we can also see the changes in the preview window.